Between 1960s and 1980s, Taiwan was actually the world's largest metal scrapyard. At the time, tens and thousands living along the Erren River in Tainan who started their own metal processing plants, extracting precious metals from scraps by using acid baths and incineration. Thus, heavy metals and dioxin produced went right out into the environment without any sort of containment measures. Though 20 years have passed, the toxins still remain in the surrounding area. By the shores of Erren River in Tainan, an excavator dug up electronic waste five meters deep that went on for several kilometers. They had already removed the circuit boards or the precious metals within. Locals just dumped the waste wherever they could dig or by the riverbed. The Erren River was once used to irrigate farmland. However, after tens of thousands living along the river started their metal scrapyards, the river was quickly polluted. In those days, there was no Environmental Protection Administration to monitor these high-polluting businesses. They only equipped the yards relied on incineration and acid baths for extraction. Small businesses are what worry us the most because they don't have the capital to get the proper equipment. Without the equipment to contain the toxins, these businesses hit their wastewater discharge pipes. We found a pipe buried in the ground that went for nearly two kilometers, before finally emptying into the Sanye Gong River. By 1983, the air monitoring station by the Erren River detected dioxin levels to be 0.2 ppm, which is several billion times the normal reading. The readings sent a clear message. The pollution caused by waste processing was getting out of control. Finally, in 1993, the government banned the import of electronic waste and shut down all unlicensed metal scrapyards. Now, there are no more factories along the shores of Erzen River. But signs of that massive era of pollution can still be found. Some 20 years later, toxins remain fused with the riverbed and cannot be removed completely. At the river's estuary, remnants of electronic waste can also be found. Some have been carried away by currents. Electronic waste has even washed ashore the sandy beaches of Amping Port, five kilometers away. This icy board has turned white, which is due to heavy oxidation. This means the heavy metals within have been released. Once polluted, it takes a long time for the environment to recover. Su Shui Long was one of the many polluters, but now he is trying to make amends. It boils down to education. We need to teach local residents about environmental protection. Now Su helps visitors learn about the beauty of Erren River. Life always finds a way. Now some 50 species of fish populate the river instead of two during the dark days. Those species that can adapt to the pollution are still low in numbers. Now the Erzen River is classed as mid to low polluted river, which is night and day compared to the past. Once again, life has returned to the river. Men's most valuable assets are not the precious metals hidden within electronic waste, but a pristine environment full of life, something which should be passed down to generation after generation.